Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Gana Ayatullah Majid. Today I want to deliver a speech uh, and the title is Let's Heal Our Nation Infection. So, respectable ones, our beloved speaking teachers, Ms. Fatma, as well as my beloved friends in this golden possibility, allow me to stand right here before you all to deliver a quick speech concerning corruption. My friends, Corruption is a popular word that everyone in, the, in this nation recognizes exactly what it means as well as how terrible it is. Corruption is an activity of sweeping individuals' money as well as their right of justice. It's absolutely a vicious action, an action that brings our nation to the death of hardship. Corruption has actually ended up being the largest problem in our nation, Indonesia, that requires immediate solution. Our nation is compromised by it. It's like an infection which infects all fields in the federal government, justice, and also public service sectors. Public might always remember one of the huge corruption distraction that snares the leader of Const Constitutional Court or Mahkamah Konstitusi, Akil Mokhtar. That rumors is like bring us that also in lawful constitution, corruption, corruption could still grow. Not only the other institutions such as police and also ministry institutions which should certainly shield and also serve us were included to corruption cases. It seems like in every level of government institution, the act of corruption is often overlooked. So many people are doing it that they think it's a normal thing. In the contrary, those who are not involved in corruption accuse us sent sentimentous and expelled. It's like being something inevitable that always happened in our beloved nation. Often we as intellectuals show loudly at every issue of corruption that runs through the massive media every time. Although actually the seeds of corruption arise in the daily activities of students in campus which unwittingly have become entrenched into culture. Leaving the attendance signature to our boss when we do not go to class, cheating on exams, and embezzling tuition given by our parents for other purpose are examples that can be found on every of us. My friends, studying at college and becoming university student is not only learning about lesson in the class and getting good score in every courses. There are something beyond that. University is the last phase before we enter the working life and mingle with society. In this critical point, we must have sharp moral. It's different with a senior or junior high school level because it's in this point you can enhance your soft skill at the most, including how to have a good principle. In some success that was achieved, achieved by corruption seemed rubbish, but don't become at the trick. The success that come from a long struggle and honestly will always be the best. Never get tempted with instant world nowadays by justifying all means. Start it from yourself. If someone is getting used to fight within a process, he will be someone that pays respect to honesty. That is the kind of student that will achieve some success once he leaves the college. With this principle, he can survive anywhere, facing anyone with different characters. We can differentiate which one is gaining success by honesty and long struggle, compared to those who is success by corruption and instant way. My friends, no one can predict where will we go. Spread our wings after finishing our study here. We can enter any field according to our destiny. Working hard to earn money is one act of devotion. But never even once tempt to corrupt. Corruption act is a shortcut that seems easy and discreet. But I guarantee that no matter how small the act is, it will be revealed. We as smart generation shall avoid corruption occur in our future. Being thankful is the secret. You as well as talk with Sinkar will help us to keep our country from the risk of corruption. Keep on carrying the honesty and respect the process. Thank you for your attention to this.